Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Leah's LG here with a story time video. A story time video. Story time video. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, here we are today. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are today. All right, sorry guys. I know I'm quite silly. All right, so. The story time topic of the day, if you cannot already tell by the title, it's about an egg. An egg. Okay, so, how do I start this story off? Okay, so, last, what was it, Thursday? No. Oh. Mm, Sunday, Saturday. Friday, because it was better by Saturday, or getting better by Saturday. Okay, so we're gonna say <laughs> Wednesday. All right, so Wednesday of last week, so I don't know when this was for you guys, but it was last week from the time that I'm filming this video. So a week ago from today, I decided to eat. Because, you know, I didn't have practice this day, so I was like, okay, let me eat what's in my fridge. So, previously, a couple days before, I went over a friend's house, but before they invited me, I just had made some eggs, some hard-boiled eggs for my salad, but, you know, I didn't want to make them wait longer because I just cooked the eggs, so I, you know, let them cool off and then put them in a bag, put them in the fridge, stuff like that. So then, fast forward a couple days later, so it's Wednesday, and I'm like, okay, well, I have these eggs in my fridge. So I go to look at my salad, and the salad's like brown, and I'm like, okay, like, I'll just eat the eggs by themselves or whatever, you know. So I don't like cold eggs. I've never liked a cold boiled, hard boiled egg. So like, I decided to put the egg it actually, it wasn't just one egg, it was two eggs. I decided to put the egg in the microwave just to get it a little bit warm, you know. Everyone who's going to watch this video is probably going to say, well, you can't cook. All right, well, I know how to cook a hard-boiled egg. I, did, I wasn't trying to cook it in the microwave. Everyone thinks I was trying to cook it in the microwave, but that's not the goal. The goal was just to warm it up because cold-boiled eggs are disgusting. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Back to the story. So I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. All right, so like 30 seconds, you know. But I like paused it like halfway through just to like touch it, you know, and finished it. Okay, so it finished, goes off 30 seconds. I leave it in there for like a couple minutes. Like, well, like the microwave's off, but like it already went off, but I just didn't go get it right away because obviously, you know, I'm like, I was doing something. I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing something. I think I was doing homework or stuff like that. So, I go get the egg and, you know, I thought about cutting the egg. Here's my thought process. I was like, I was like, okay, Leah, this is, this is me thinking. I was like, Leah, should you cut it or should you just bite it in? You've eaten eggs before where you just... Like, bit into it and it was completely fine. Okay. <laughs> That's literally what I've thought before. So, I'm going walking to my room, you know, the desk over there. I'm walking, I'm walking. I sit down, I was like, this is so funny. Like, I'm eating the egg. So, I take one bite out of the egg. And, like, at this, like, you know how an egg is shaped? So, it's like skin, it was like pointy and then round. So, I bit it off the, like, pointy end, which is like, when you boil an egg, that's mainly like, um, like, I don't know what it's called, the white stuff. The, not, it's not the yolk, it's the, whatever the white stuff forms into, that's what it was. And I bit it and it was fine, you know. I was like, it was a little hot, but I was like, okay. And then, what do I go to? <laughs> I take my phone 
And I'm like, this is funny, I should send this to my sister and everyone else in my Snapchat, you know, friends and stuff like that. I'm like, I was gonna be like the life of a college student. So, I take my phone, I take my phone, I don't know which hand. Yeah, it's this hand. So I have my phone in my hand and I have the egg that's already bitten into. And I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm like, well, I'm not recording yet because, like, you know, I was going to wait till I bit into it. So I hold it. I hold it. Bite. <laughs> like, when I say it, an egg exploded in my face, people. An egg. Like, you don't understand this. This egg is hot. But, like, when I say my eyes started tearing, it started tearing up. Like, I don't know how to explain this unless it's ever happened to you. But, like, just imagine, like, steam all being like rushed into your face like that's probably the worst experience ever in my life so literally as i'm biting into an egg it explodes on my face and in this moment in this very moment i'm not even joking in this moment my lips were on fire like <laughs> like i my lips were burning and then i was like i ran it underwater I ran it underwater and i was like okay let me go get an ice you know to cool it down so I go get an ice pack, you know, I go get an ice pack out of my freezer and I'm like, okay, put it on there, put it on there. And I was like, okay, that's not working. So I put a paper towel over it and I'm just like, okay, you know, but then, you know, my lips just start burning some more and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like at this point, at this point, guys, I think my lips were going to like swell up. Like, have you... Have you ever been burned before where you got like, you know how it turns into a little pus ball on your body wherever you've been burned before? Like I was like, oh my gosh, my lips are gonna like be all pussy and like it's just gonna look weird. I have school tomorrow. I have cheer. Like people are gonna look at me weird. Like oh my gosh. All these things were rushing through my head as this egg exploded. Like I'm not even joking. All these things. And I was terrified. So as soon as I like the ice pack wasn't working I run in the sink and I'm just like holding water I'm just like putting water on my mouth like this you know just keeping the water because that's the only way that it was soothed it was only soothed when water was on it like I don't know how to explain it but water was very soothing because I guess like the moisture I don't know like I tried Maris Born, I tried Vaseline, cocoa butter, everything was going to my lips. It was not suiting it. So I just put water, keep putting water, 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 water. And then, when I say this egg exploded everywhere, it was everywhere. It was over my desk, my, it was in my nose. Like, ugh, the smell, the smell of burnt eggs is disgusting. Gross. It is the worst thing ever, guys. Like, honestly like I after that moment like that was just the worst moment ever so then so then oh my gosh I hate this little air conditioner thingy because it just makes so much noise so I have to talk louder okay so I call my mom I'm like mom what do I do like do I have to go to an emergency room like what do I have to do because like this is not okay my lips won't stop burning like what should I do and she's like uh she's like just put Nearsporin my mom's answer for everything is Nearsporin and I'm like mom that's not good enough I was like I already did that it's not working like give me another answer like do I need to see a medical professional for this like what my life is gonna end <laughs> like I'm gonna have like I knew my lips weren't gone because I could see in the mirror above my bathroom, but I was just like, the skin, like, like it looked fine, you know what I mean? Like, it was just a normal lip, but it was burning, like, really badly. So then, the all day, I couldn't feel my lips at all. I was just like, like, licking them <laughs> to see the sensation. There was no sensation there. Like, it was just like was gone like my nerves were damaged and stuff like that so fast forward to the next day to the next day what is it Thursday Thursday Friday I should think it was Thursday so my lips were swollen a little bit but if you can see they were swollen and it looked like I got lip injections so that's the story I went with if anyone asked and then guys 
I'm not even joking. This is like, this is probably the worst experience of my whole life. Like, worst, worst college experience ever. So then, I'm so glad because speeches were going on, and I'm so glad my speech was not that day. It was like yesterday, but I'm, I was praying because like if I would have had a talk with that lip. I would have just been thinking about that the whole time and not my speech and like it was very like it made me very self-conscious because I was like people are staring at me and like this is gonna be weird but the like worst part about this whole thing like it's not even that, like yeah that's bad the egg exploded my face but the worst part is that it didn't even puss up like my lip my lips got puffy but it didn't puss up it created a scab under my lip like a scab I don't know like this is what it looks like a couple of days later like you can see right here like it's so kind of scabby but I know that's like good when it first started scabbing it was literally like all under it started like really under like kind of where the part that separates I like started here or whatever and I was like, I was like, this is not okay. Like, I, okay, me, I'm the type of person, I don't like scabs. I hate scabs. Like, when I feel a scab or something that I can, like, touch, I feel like it has to be picked off because, like, scabs, even though it's, like, your body's protective system, blah, 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 scabs just shouldn't be there because they look weird. So, I, I know, you're not supposed to pick your scabs, but I do. So, like, it was there, and I was like, I can't pick it because it's my lips and it hurts and like I just had to keep looking at it. Literally, Chopstick was my best friend. It still is because until that goes away, like I'm still using it. So I would like put Chopstick on every two seconds, just rub it in <laughs> because I didn't have like a portable Vaseline or Nearsporin. I was not because Nearsporin that's excuse me. That stuff makes your lips very greasy and I mean chapstick does too but at least like it's chapstick so I just keep rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it on and constantly non-stop but the reason why the reason why I was so pressed this is like a five story time in one I know the reason why I'm so what is the word adamant about getting the scab off is because I was going to my first club like I was going first time I would ever go to a club, you know, and like I didn't want people to see this scat. Like I'm not even joking. Every day the scat moved up, up, and up, which like I was not like having that. So I was like, this has to get off. <laughs> like I was OCD mode all the way. Like the scab had to go. I mean, it's still there, but like at this point, it's like almost one with my lip. Like, it's almost, like, smooth. So, like, I was okay with that. So, Saturday, the scab is still there. And at this point, as long as it says moist, you can't really see it. So, like, all day Saturday, I was like, okay, let me try and get as much as I can off my lips. So, I can, like, you know, cover it with some red lips and stuff like that. So, I'll insert a picture from the day after. And then when I show you the scab picture picture is really ugly guys so don't like judge me for it but it's really ugly <laughs> but literally there's two disclaimers to this and basically you can have an exploding egg and it cre can create a mess and it's like the worst thing ever to clean up because egg gets everywhere and then disclaimer two make sure you always cut into your eggs and don't be dumb like me and bite into it you know is that can why can't I talk today? That can prevent so much. Like, if I would have just cut into the egg, my lips would have been okay. Yes, I would have had a big mess of eggs everywhere. But, I wouldn't have to worry about my lip being scarred. So, what did this teach me? <sighs> a lot about eggs. I never knew that an egg could explode from a microwave like well I knew you could overcook an egg but that's why I did 30 seconds but you know what I think there's something wrong with my microwave because my microwave will overcook everything 
so this microwave here is cool because at home I'm pretty sure I did that before and you know it didn't fry the egg so just be careful when you eat boiled eggs you know guys like this is a warning so that is all for my story time video today guys thank you for watching don't forget to follow me on Twitter and yeah my information is linked below I'm trying to post videos every Sunday but I'm sorry guys school and cheer it's like world's month so like it's keeping me on my toes and it's hard to record videos and stuff like that especially funny ones or like uplifting ones that actually make sense so see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>